What's up? This is Ivan Barrios, your Philly 360 creative ambassador, and I'm sitting here with my man, the myth, the man, the legend, Grammy nominated, singer, songwriter, uh, Mr. Raheem Devon. What's up, man? Good, chillin', great chillin'. to have you in, in our town once again, bro. Hey, How you hey. been? Oh, man, it's, it's good. Feels like the third home away from home. You're out right now promoting your your, your new LP, your new mm -hmm. album. It's mm -hmm. called a, a place called Loveland. Mm -hmm. So for those who don't know, first of all, I want to know what is Loveland, though. You know, just it's, right off the top. It's what? a soundtrack to um, to many things. You know what I'm saying? Plutonic friendship. You know, conversation. If you riding with the homie, and the, you y'all just happen to be listening to the album, y'all gonna strike a, a conversation about the, not not that joint joint, but that chick that. You care about. You come from a very musical family. Your father was a very was, a, was an acclaimed jazz musician. Mm -hmm. How, retired. Yep. He what? He's retired. He's retired. Retired. He retired. Yeah. How do you feel coming from such a musical family? What impact did that have in your own musicality and your artistry and being who you are right now? Uh, I think definitely it's had a huge influence. Uh, I I find I don't know if it's just like genetically or whatever, but I tend to love like. You know, big string, string, lush string arrangements. Yeah. I didn't do a lot of that on this album. Um, I definitely want to take it back to that on the on the on the, on the album. You know, on the fifth album. You know, which is which I'm kind of in <laughs> in the middle of. I got some cool stuff going on with that. You know? Don't leave me. Don't leave and, me oh, off that you know, album. We, you know, saying, you know, saying, okay, 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 okay. We, okay. Being from DC, which is not too far from here, it's only a what two-hour drive. Mm -hmm. How does how does how, how has the Philly sound or movement impacted your career as a soul singer as well. I mean it impacted a lot. Like you know what I mean? Like I remember music Soul Child's first album came out or the first Jill Scott album that I bought or the Glenn Lewis album or it was just a wave of you know the, my first Roots album. You know what I mean? Going to experience Black Lily, Jaguar Wright, like you know, all of these artists like it was just a wave, it was just a resurgency, you know what I'm saying? And coming up and my, trying to migrate from D.C. and infiltrate the scene, it wasn't that easy to get in. <laughs> <laughs> you got to earn your stripes and you got to, you know, you got to put it down and and, 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 and you, and you got to be humble, you know what I'm saying? You work a lot in Philly mm -hmm. and when you come to Philly and it's time to play, what do you, what do you normally like to go? Definitely got to hit South Street, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Monaco is definitely super, super fly. I've stayed there numerous times. Yeah. Continental. Which they got the ill Indian salmon dish. <laughs> it was killer. Shout you know out to me? Steven Starr. Yeah. And, um, and you know, any studio that you're in, <laughs> I feel I have a whole new respect. You know, for this, for the, for the, for what they call it, brotherly love. It's, city of brotherly love. And city sisterly of, affection. I, I have a whole new respect. <laughs> I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the affection. There you have it, Mr. Raheem Devon, a.k.a. The Love King. <laughs> hey, peace world, this is Raheem Devon, The Love King, and you're watching Philly 360.